Hey, what's up guys? In this video I'm going to show you all the fuses and the relays location on this Mercedes C-Class from 2002. Also, I will quickly show you how to properly test a fuse and a relay. So on this car, you'll find three fuse boxes, one in the back. As you can see, you can find a little plier in order to pull out the fuses. A second fuse box, you'll find it by the steering wheel on the driver's side. So with a plastic tool, just remove the cover. And over here, you've got a couple of more fuses together with this paper, which is very important, which will tell you exactly the fuse's location, but not the relays. And under the hood, remove this cover. And over here, you've got two flaps, just pull them out. And down there, you'll find more fuses and some relays together with the SEU. Now I'm gonna start with the fuse box from the back. Here is a closer look to this paper. If you need anything from here, just pause the video and use the numbers. You can see you've got the names. And on the front page, you've got exactly the numbers and the fuse's location. I'm gonna point it out to you, but in case you have some options that I don't have, then this might be useful for you. As you can see, this is the back fuse box, which we've got over here. Then the middle one is the one by the steering wheel. And the left one is the one under the hood by the engine. So we've got here from the top fuse number one and fuse number two is for the seats, seat adjustment passenger, seat adjustment driver side. Number three is for the doom lights. Number four, fuel pump. Number eight, it says convenience looking. I'm not sure what's that. Number 9, doom lights. Number 10, rear window heating or defrost. So since we are in the back over here, I'm going to show you how to test the fuse on the fuel pump. For that, I'm going to turn the keys in the second position. Let's see, we've got some problem with the fuel pump. We want to test the fuel pump if it, if it works or not. You remove the fuse, visually inspect the fuse, that little filament in the middle. Or if you want a more scientific test, you can set the voltmeter on the continuity test and place the terminals. And as you can see, you've got continuity. Now, if the fuse is all right, the next test you want to do is to check if you have voltage on the fuse slot. For that, I've got my voltmeter over here and I can ground the negative terminal on one of the metal parts. As you can see, you've got 12.2 volts. That means the ACU is all right, it's sending current to the fuel pump. Now the next test you can do is to check the continuity between the second terminal, which is over here, to the fuel pump. For that, again, you set the voltmeter on the continuity test. On this side, it's coming from the ACU, and this side is going to the fuel pump. And therefore, if you test from here to the fuel pump, you're going to see a continuity. It means that the wire doesn't have a short in between the fuse box and the pump. Now let's say if you don't get any current on the fuse for the fuel pump, then over here you've got the fuel pump relay, which you should hear a click when you turn the key on the second position in the ignition. And another way to test it is to remove it. As you can see, some of them have a diagram marked on them, and it shows me that number one and two is for the electromagnet, which will activate the switch which is gonna be three and five. So theoretically, if I put 12 volts on number one and number two terminal, I should hear a click. I'm guessing that number two is the positive. If you wonder, I've got here a 12 volt homemade battery, but you can hook it up to the car battery or anything you have, which will deliver 12 volts. So now let's see. I'm gonna place the microphone by the relay and you should be able to hear the click. So you can hear that. The relay is working. I'm gonna permanently keep that circuit closed and I'm going to show you the continuity test on these two terminals over here, which are delivering power to the fuel pump. We've got continuity on those terminals. Now let's say if I remove the 12 volt input on the relay, you will not have continuity on these terminals. As you can see, there is no continuity on the terminals. So all this means the relay is good. And on this example, if the fuel pump does not work, it means that 
either the wire from the fuse, from this side of the fuse to the fuel pump is broken or the fuel pump itself does not work. Alright, so the next relay is the relay number 2 for terminal 15 air. Then we've got the rear windshield defroster and the relay number 1 for the terminal 15R. And the last two are the relays for the filler cap. Now moving on the fuel box by the steering wheel, we've got the fuse number 21. So anything connected to the mirrors, like heated mirrors, folding mirrors, are these two fuses over here. Then we've got the fuse 25, which is for the heated seats. Fuse number 30 is for the heating for AC blower. So the fuse 31 is for the steering lock. Fuse 41 is for the central locking and it can be also for hazard lights and rear head release. Fuse number 42, airbag warning lamp. All right, moving in the engine bay, I'm looking from the front towards the fuse box. I'm gonna take out these cables from the ACU. Fuse number 43 is for the horn. Then fuse number 45 is for the airbag lamp again. Fuse number 46 is for windscreen wipers. 47 is for the glove compartment light. 48, it says engine electronics. Got 49, airbag side airbag control unit. Fuse number 50, it says switch illumination. 51, it says engine residual heat system. So it can be 51 can be as well for heating. Starting switch is 52. This one is 53 and this one is 54. It says just engine electronics, fuse 55, which is for transmission electronics, and fuse 56, which is for ABS. All right, so we've got the 57. It says it's for electronic stability program and central locking. So 59 is for ABS and electronic stability program. Fuse number 60, it's again for electronic stability program and ABS. So we've got 62 for diagnosed socket, 63 which can be for dipped beam. 64 is for navigation system. Finally, let me show you the relays. We've got here the horn relay, wiper speed adjustment relay, engine terminal 15 relay, starter relay, terminal 15 relay, wiper on off relay, engine terminal 87 relay, and the relay for chassis. All right, guys, those were the locations of fuses and relays on this car. Thanks for watching, I hope you find this video useful. If you are new to this channel and you want to see more car repair videos, make sure that you subscribe. And until next time, take care and I will see you soon.